First, we want to ask about how's Joe? He's all right. <laughs> Yeah. I guess we've known each other for ages. We both do the same yeah. stuff and see each other yeah. here and there. Because mm. um, I would put, because I know I don't know you particularly, but I know Joe, mm. and he's just one of those guys for whom the phrase "not a bad bone in his body" yeah. is gone. He's so lovely. smiely and so lovely, yeah. and you're really smiley and lovely. And yeah. I just think, oh my God, why didn't they get together ten years ago? Yeah. Oh no, why couldn't someone have told me about this years ago? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? But no, and you both won the jungle as well, didn't you? And when it, you when you came out, when you won, Joe put the crown on your head, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. He was the first, they were the first ones to see me when I come out. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, he's lovely. So I'll... could you tell he liked you then? Because he said he liked you back then. <laughs> this I always take the mick out of him for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the paper it said he's fancy you know, us since 2010, and he's like, no, I didn't. <laughs> I said one thing. <laughs> well, do you know what? We've got the clip of when he crowns you queen. So let's wow. see if maybe he's telling. <laughs> Stacey, Stacey, how do you feel? You're the new queen of the jungle. What the hell just happened? <laughs> <laughs> you got kissed by Joe Swartz. That's what happened. Mind, I had all spider guts and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So how did you how did you actually get together? How did you make that leap? I don't know how it, how it happened. We were doing um, a show together mm. and, and we, we really got on and then I went out to do the after show in Australia and and yeah, I, I'm so embarrassed. I don't even know what to say. He's, yeah, I really like him. He's, he's lovely. lovely. He's a yeah. really lovely boy. I've he... known Joe, Joe all of his life. In fact, I think it was in my house that he first lost his you know what? <laughs> brave in that show but you fudged that question so I want to come back to it was oh. he very brave in asking you out yes <laughs> Daisy oh, no. <laughs> you went, oh, <laughs> come on dish it I don't want to yeah I mean he was he was pretty brave he he got in there I was I'm an ice cream <laughs> Um, queen. I am. I, I'm a bit of an ice queen, so mm. I was kind of like, no way. I've, I don't know. And yeah, he, he kept on going. Pursued you. Yeah. He's not had that many relationships, though, has he? He's, you know, and he's got but, a, oh, a, he's a so little lovely. boy, Harry, yeah, and that. Yeah, and you both got boys. So really so nice. Hopefully, it's, the boys just, will all get on well. I hope so. He really is just a really nice person. Bloke. I'm so yeah. glad I met him, and, yeah. and, and and I'm now getting to know him. So no. I yeah. feel really happy for you. When was the last time you had a good snog? Yesterday. Come and stay, see. Oh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm in a sort of fresh relationship, so I, I love a kiss. It's my favourite thing. I, I like kissing. it more than anything. Cool. <laughs> Tell us about your first kiss with Joe. <laughs> <laughs> my first kiss with Joe was probably my most awkward kiss of all time in my whole entire life. Were you life. expecting it? No, we were. We were talking. We were friendly, and I'm stressed out at, to him that I wasn't looking for a relationship or anything, but we really got on. Oh, and look he, it, yeah. <laughs> he came to say goodbye to me as I was leaving to go home, and I sort of said bye, shut the door, and I'm very prude, and I'm, I'm not very forward. And he, before the door could shut... He had his foot in the door. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, pushed it open and walked straight up to me and kissed me, and I, I froze. I literally was like... <laughs> you were not reciprocated. No, but I wanted to, but I just didn't know. I was so shocked that he kissed me and that he liked me, and, that, and, then, and then he went and then just turned around, walked out, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing. Oh, and what a shame. So he walked away thinking you didn't, she yeah, doesn't like me. And then me. I got on a plane for 24 hours oh. and he couldn't speak well, to me. Oh. Has Joe met your family? Joe met my family straight away. Every Friday we have Friday night dinner and we all come together. There's literally like 22 of this us. This is your because you're Jewish. Yeah, this is our a little Friday Shabbat night. Dinner. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone comes.
comes, you can't cancel it. If someone doesn't come, they're like shunted out of the family. <laughs> <laughs> um, he literally landed on a Friday and was like, I want to come and see you. I really want to see you. And I was like, OK, but all my family are here. I think he thought, like, my mum and my dad, oh, <laughs> maybe something. my sister. <laughs> <laughs> so he literally came to my house, opened the door and started sweating. <laughs> <laughs> There was about 20 of us. Yeah, 20. at least 20 of us. And in, what in are the, the room. Solomon family like on mass? The Solomon family are like these really loud, you know, Jewish mothers who are just like, hello. And my dad's like, so, who are you? What's the one you want to know everything? So he's got it all out of the way in one foul swoop. <laughs> yeah. Poor Joe yeah. was just in a state. And he was going to spend the night and stay over, but he was too scared to tell my dad. <laughs> so my dad stayed there really late. And in the end, he was like, Joe, when are you going home? <laughs> Joe was like, now. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. It's funny, actually, because we know Joe, and he's all out there, isn't he? Little Cockney <laughs> and all full of confidence. I can't imagine him sitting like that, being terrified. Wait till you meet my dad. <laughs> You'll be like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> and Joe and I finally moved in oh, together. Wow. At last. I know, I've been waiting for so long. I wasn't prepared, though, I must say. Um, going smoothly, then? Yeah, it's going well. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a couple of hiccups. <laughs> so, when I first got into the house, I was waiting for delivery drivers and Joe had gone to get help you know, manpower, and things started coming in and I was like, what, <clears throat> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> that isn't mine. <laughs> and I realised that whilst Joe's been staying with me, he left all of his stuff from his apartment in his mum's garage and I just hadn't seen it, thought it had disappeared somewhere. Fingers <laughs> <laughs> crossed. Yeah, to be seen again was the hope. And all of a sudden, <laughs> there it was, bang. <laughs> Straight through the So what did you do with all this stuff I just in? kept sending it to the shed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I think that is supposed to go in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been quite a shock, then. It's yeah. been so a culture far. shock. It's been really different, isn't it, when you've lived on your own and with all your own rules and all your own yeah. stuff to then sort of... And is the penny it. dropping with Jewel, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Joe. He is incredibly patient and wonderful, and I'm so lucky. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> when we first looked at the house, there was a small area for a wardrobe, and I said, well, I'll... I'll need that space for my clothes. Yeah. And he said, oh, yeah, fine, I'll just put mine in the bedrooms downstairs. And I was like, OK, great. And then when he got in there yesterday, he saw this smallish space <laughs> being overflowed with my stuff, <laughs> that it had to go into our bedroom and start f overflowing our bedroom. And he was like, <clears throat> so um, do I have any space <laughs> in the wardrobe? <laughs> And I was like, well, you kind of said it was all mine, so you can't go back on it now. And it's all full up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we can now go live to Stacey Solomon and Joe's house. <gasps> and uh, <laughs> Joe is joining us. Oh, oh, my God. God. Yeah. 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 Sorry, ladies. I'm so Why are you pretending to paint, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> You've put it on your face on purpose. I'm doing real painting, Stace. At least someone's doing something. <laughs> <laughs> Was he at the front door? Were you opening the door to someone? Yeah, the, the sofa man come. <laughs> 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 oh, it was very nice to meet you, Sofa Man, but we, we, we want to see the wardrobe, not the sofa. Joe, can you run upstairs? Quiet, let me show you this wardrobe. See, when she says about a wardrobe, she's not really telling the truth because it's... Wait there, the cat's going to get out. Wait there. Oh, I'm crying out. It all goes like this when I leave, you know. Fiona, make sure the cat's not come out. Oh. <laughs> this isn't... This isn't just like a wardrobe space, guys. She's got like a whole walking wardrobe. Let me show you. Look. 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 It's not, oh, that's not a little space, Stacey. Oh, that's lovely. And all I asked for was to put a little row along this wall here. She said no. Oh. <laughs> Everyone feels sorry for you. Where is my shoes going to go? <laughs> <laughs> a rail across the wall for my shoes. <laughs> Give well. Joe the rail. No. Give Joe no. the rail. <laughs> Give Joe the rail. Give Joe the rail. Give Joe the rail. Give Joe the rail. I'm going to come home and you're going to not hear the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, they've moved in together. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. So,
we we felt it was important to keep it to ourselves until we felt really safe. I yeah. think that was first yeah. and foremost. And also for you, for, for your boys, for Joe's boys. Yeah, we've got a fam. Our, our, we didn't find out to a certain point. Then we've had to let our family know and our children know. And then there is that part of you that even when you're ready and you know it's the right time to tell people, you still think, oh, I do want it to be just ours for a little while longer, but you, you can't because you want to share it. Well, it's not just to. yours, of course. It takes two to tango. We want to know what Joe thinks, <laughs> don't we? Yeah. Please welcome Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Yeah, we've got a taste of you too. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. I'm, uh, I'm really chuffed. It's, yeah. uh, it's just nice to have the secret out. You know, it's been, yeah. it's been quite for so long, and um, we're so excited. Um, so I might the normal bit... length of time. <laughs> yeah. People keep it to the yeah, table. I know, but we've had to kind of, you know, keep yeah. it undercover. So now it's nice that we can sort of breathe a little bit and let people know. Yeah. Um, and my little sister just had a baby, so we've been cooing over this baby as well. So like, we, we're so jealous at the moment, but oh, we'll have our own love... soon. Like, Joe doesn't often get emotional, so there's something really nice about everything he says. I know he's about to cry, like, I can... <laughs> oh, <laughs> can I... I'm not... I don't know what no, she's talking about. Can I just tell you, Stacey? I'm fine. No, I'm Joe, here. you nearly made me cry this morning on your Instagram post. Oh. I don't know if you've seen Joe's Instagram post this morning. I mean, you've obviously... I'm going to make you cry now, cos I was. <laughs> uh, so here we go, Joe. Um, having been driving myself mad thinking she's bored senseless of me and can't stand to be awake for longer than 10 minutes in my company. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine my delight to find out that she still loves me and my company very much. She's just been growing a baby. Oh, yeah. Down I've gone. <laughs> I yeah. can't begin to describe how happy we are to be able to share this wonderful news. We've been so blessed with three incredible children yeah. uh, that we've had the privilege of raising. We're forever grateful to have the chance to become parents to another wonderful child. It's all very oh emotional. God and overwhelming and we couldn't be happier right now. Yeah, Aww. no, we are. You know, you know, we do, we feel really blessed and uh, mm. really excited and um, I can't wait to see what our, our little kid's going to look like. Can you? No. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm joking, uh. you can't wait. I'm, but, honestly, yeah. I'm, I, I don't know what to but say. But here's what Stacey wrote, uh, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's so one-sided. <laughs> because I don't know what to say. Like, it's it's almost... I'm almost coming to terms with it. Mm. You know, it's such a massive thing and I can't, still can't believe it's happening to us. So it's like, I don't really know what to say. It's a miracle. Oh, it's I always a miracle every really time and that is very overwhelming. Well, yeah. There's my little boy. I mean, mm. I wouldn't want to be anywhere in the world apart from in that room when Stacey and my baby, baby was being born. One... Not only because he's my baby, but because... You know, Stacey needs the person that she loves. I know I weren't the best in there, but I tried my hardest, didn't I? I, I? I would never deny a man the right to be in the birthing yeah. room. I think that's ridiculous. Yeah. What I will say is, I understand where some of the points that this doctor is making about not necessarily being helpful and sometimes... There was... There. I know exactly what you're going to say. No, no. I've, I've honestly... It, it wouldn't have mattered who was in the room. I was giving birth and I was literally just like, get the hell away from me, let me push this baby out of my vagina. But <laughs> I, I, there were a couple of moments, weren't there, yeah. questionable moments when I did think, what the hell is he doing? There was a moment when the doctor said that they were going to burst Stacey's waters. Burst and... them. Just break them. Just break them. <laughs> and I was like, in my head, I... I automatically thought, I don't want to see that. And I don't want to hear it either. Well, I'm not so, <laughs> I went to the wall and just looked at the wall and started banging on the wall. No, this is, this is what happened. So I'm on the bed, legs in stirrups, and they get the big hanger hook thing out. And they're like, we're just oh, going to break the funny already. So anyway, they're, they're doing it, and I'm like this. You know, we're from the adrenaline of just yeah. being in so much pain. And all I can hear is... <sighs> I didn't even know it was Joe at the time, but I was just like, "Hands <laughs> <laughs> oh, It's a funny, it's a funny, vulnerable situation for a man in a labour room. But and if you're tying the knot, you keep your own name. What do you think, Joe? Well, I think um, the age that we live in at the moment, it's not a massive deal. If you want to marry someone, you don't want to marry them because of their name. Um, if someone is so protective and um, 
over their own name, then that's their problem. With me and Stacey, I'm sure Stacey's going to want to keep her own name. What do she's you feel, Joe, though? She's... What, what, I mean, listen, when you wanted to share Rex's name, I weren't happy about it at the beginning. <laughs> I was like, what? But it's fair, you know, and I'll, and I'll go along with it. Mm. And I think, same with the name. I think, you know, you've carved out a career for yourself. Your, you've, your family name goes back for years and years and years, and they've gone through such turmoil through the past that keeping hold of your name, I think, is quite important for you, and I'm, I'm not going to take that away from you. Yeah. So what, what is that? Just, where, where, where will we need I, to think about this decision? Just you know? <laughs> where, where can we start discussing who keeps what name? <laughs> Well, you know, I was forced into it with this with this topic, weren't I? So maybe in a few years. We trapped you. I feel like we need to go hat shopping, <laughs> don't you, Christine? <laughs> There's a very clear indication there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the awkwardness, Joe. That I like that. Jeez. What is Rex's name though? It's so it's Rex. Um, Rex, Rex with our, with two middle names, yeah. and then it's Swash Solomon. Swash Solomon, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know that's a mouthful, but it's really funny because. It actually, it's not a pride thing for either of us that both of our son, surnames are in there. It's because obviously Joe has one son and I have two other children and they have Solomon and Swash. So we just wanted Rex to have both of those family names in. So it all felt like we were, we were all part of one so family. So then do you all...